Hey, y'all. I apologize for the delay. Um, we had some technical challenges, but we're here now for the live stream. And I have a lot to cover in today's live stream. And that's actually the first thing that I want to talk about. And I want to tell you about a shift I've made in my own content strategy, right? And it's sort of a, a, a shift from maybe... Um, a position of limitation to one of abundance, right? But the truth is I've got lots of things to cover that are all really, really good and hot topics today. And the former Michelle would have frankly waited to share this with you, right? She would have said, okay, well, I'll do a live stream on this today and then I'll spread out the content over a few days because what if I don't think of something really clever to offer tomorrow? And a lot of what we're talking about in this live stream has everything to do with money. It has everything to do with abundance. It has everything to do with how you can get a lot more yeses. Hey, Kelly, I actually meant to message you this morning and see how you were doing and how you're doing with the content on the uh, member site and all of that. So I'm coming to you green today um, for two reasons. We're talking all about money, getting more yeses in the door, getting quicker yeses in the door. And also I am trying to camouflage the fact that I um, had a really hard work today and uh, look kind of crazy. So that's why I decided to do the green. So hey, Lisa. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Randy. Um, there's a couple more people. I'm bright green because we're talking about money today and I'm camouflaging my no makeup and, um, and dirty hair from the workout this morning. <laughs> I um I found this workout that is so fast and quick, but it really, really um, works. So I'm excited to be here. We're talking about a few things. The first thing is your content. And I want to really dive in. And we're getting a lot more people on the call, but I want you to know I've got three specific things that will absolutely transform how you show up in your business and how much money you make. The first thing I'm going to go into because typically a live stream has like one topic. Today we have three specific topics. And the idea that we have to save our content is something that is really based in limitation. And I've done that a million times, right? Where I feel like, okay, I want to, I have these great things to say, I have a great idea, and then I'm, I'm going to space it out, right? Like, so I'll talk about one thing today and one thing tomorrow, and I kind of save my content. I'd save them up and spread them out as if I don't get great ideas for what to talk about every day, right? The truth is, in my business, I'm meeting with business owners every day, and so every day has fresh content. And so when you have something truly inspired and inspiring to share with your market, um, don't save it for another day, right? You've had this experience in your own head, right? Where, hey, Jill, Jill has just committed to coming to Dallas and for Women Who Wow Lives. I'm really excited about that. I can't wait for you guys to meet Jill. I met her in Oklahoma and she's making the trip to Dallas and very excited. But I am so... Um, get frustrated with myself with how much I have, you know, even with content stuff operated out of like this perception of limitation. Like I got to save this idea for later on. The truth is ideas have a shelf life, right? Ideas have a very short shelf life. We've all um, written down an idea that we think is genius. And we wait a couple days and we look back at the same notebook and we're like, what was I thinking? Right? And the truth is that's because these things have a shelf life. When you have something inspired to say to your market, I want you to really go straight to them. Don't save it up. The truth is momentum will be um, bought by your messaging, right? Momentum in your business will be earned, will be bought when you show up every day. I don't care what you sell. If you sell um, clothing, if you sell coaching, if you sell legal services, whatever it is, if you're trying to experience Band beyond like normal limits for a business owner. You've got to be messaging constantly every day. So don't save up your content ideas. When you get something inspired, share it. That's the first thing. Now we're going to get into what you're probably here for. Two things. How to sell when you're panicked about money, right? When you are feeling like all tensed up about money and it feels like money is oxygen, right? And you're like, you're running out and you're not quite sure what to do. And so all of this stuff happens when you're um, when you're tense about money and 
I just want to talk about that for just a second. And the second thing we're going to cover, the last thing we're going to cover is one thing that you have got to clarify and memorize in order to make so many more sales. Okay. So let's talk about when you're panicked about money. I totally have been there. I have, when people say that they felt like um, their, you know, money is like oxygen, right? And you see it running out and you start breathing faster because you're thinking, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? Mortgages tuition is due, um, whatever. If you have that going on, then all of a sudden you feel it. I keep getting a call. Uh, Randy, actually, if you could, um, text Brandy and tell her I'm on a live stream, <laughs> that'd be great. So, um, anyway, so when you're panicked, you, you start to like tense up, right? And when you need the sales the most desperately, you know, as well as I do that it feels like they just disappear, right? Like they dissipate into thin air. It's like you can't get a yes to save your life when you need it the most, right? And I want to talk about this because this is a truth that works in no matter what business you're in, no matter what industry. In fact, it even works for job seekers. That's why they tell you that it's easier to find a job when you already have a job than when you're desperately needing one. And here is the reason why. When we're desperate for something, we, um, constrict, right? We constrict in and it gets tense and people feel that and it's not a natural state for us. And so when things are um, really constricted and tense, what happens is we're not open to receive anything, right? We're not open in any way. And so we're trying to get these sales and we're, we're scrunching down in our, our, you know, proverbially and sometimes in person, our, you know, um, Botox doesn't work. It's like everything is like tense and, and tense and constricted and everything like this. I was thinking about this this morning and I, um, when I delivered my babies, I, you know, we had water births for, uh, for the two that I, I delivered myself and my midwife was so wise because as I was in that transition, right? And I'm like, if any, any mother in here knows that, right? Yeah, yeah, we can't, not only can we not receive money, Lisa says we can't receive our highest guidance when we're contracted. We've got to like lighten up. So here's what my midwife said. She, I'm, I'm like bearing down, right? I'm bearing down and I'm in transition and I am, hey Nika, I'm trying to um, deliver these babies, right? And in that moment, what my body needs is to open up quite literally. I had big babies, right? So um, the two that I delivered, one was eight, three, and the other one was nine pounds and two ounces. And so um, I literally needed to open up and my, and as I'm kind of bearing down the same way we do when we're constricted about uh, money and nervous and tense, my midwife looked at me and she goes, she says that she goes, oh, oh, like she wanted me to lighten up, lighten up because I was bearing down and I was making it harder on myself. And so the same thing is happening in our business when we're panicked and desperate for money right? We start to tense up. So when you feel like you can't get a yes to save your life, it is not you, right? And here is what we can do about it. The truth is all of us have a place where we know that we know that we know that it's going to be okay, that this little hiccup is temporary, that all the yeses didn't dry up in our industry, right? That people are buying and we need to go to that place. So my coach used to say, you know, just go to that place where you know that it's okay. And for me, that's a place of, um, of faith, right? But all of us have that place, like this inner kind of knowing it's going to be okay. This is temporary. We need to get to that space before we make a sales ask, right? This is not an excuse to stop selling. This is about doing some work ahead of the selling, right? If you are a journaler, then journal, but somehow get to that place where just like my midwife encouraged me, ah, oh, like kind of lighten up so that you can be open to receive. So you don't go into sales conversations like I was going into the birth, like gritting down and furring my brows and all of that. So um, that is how to sell when you're panicked. The first step is get out of panic. Go back to that place where you know it's okay and then get into that sales conversation. Journaling is actually really good for this for me. Um, 
So I hope that it helps you, but really going to what you know to be true. And, um, or, or sometimes another thing I used to do is I used to look at different um, testimonials that have been given or cards that people have sent me that have said um, things that are, you know, um, powerful for me. And um, and I've read those to kind of remind myself that I'm pretty okay as a, as a business owner. And I think that this is going to work out. So that's the um, how to sell when panicked. I want to move on because this is something that has come up in so many conversations with my members lately and um, it is what you must clarify and memorize if you want more yeses in your business now this is exactly for you if you hear a lot of if you're in a lot of conversations where you're like oh my god I've got to work with you we've got to work together I've got to hire you right if you're in a lot of those conversations and then something happens and you are um, not closing those deals like so you're maybe in person with people and they're saying I've got to work with you I've got to have more of this how can we do this or online and these are just like not closing so you have a lot of people who are like acknowledging how amazing you are but not a lot of people who are paying for your services or um, paying for your product and here is what we need to do we always have to have a way to work with people that comes trippingly off the tongue right we have to have that. I have someone that I'm working with right now and there's a long lag. She does mainly sort of events and groups. There's a long lag between when someone says, oh my God, I got to have more of you and when she can finally sell them something. And, and I said, well, let's, let's fix your money problem now. Let's figure out something that can come trippingly off the tongue. So when people say, I need to hire you, say, well, I have an event coming up in a couple of months, but if you don't want to wait for that, we can get started with this, right? So the number one thing you've got to clarify and memorize is an answer to that statement I've got to work with you great we can make that happen here's how we can get started right something that you can sell any day of the week it doesn't matter what you have coming up it doesn't matter where you are in your business something that you can roll right off your tongue trippingly off the tongue and allows people gives people an option to immediately start working with you or schedule the time to start working with you this seems very simple but it's coming up an awful lot in my conversations people who aren't selling every day because frankly they don't have something they're they're selling every day um, this membership was something that really transformed um, my world because it's a it's a thirty seven dollar um, a month ask it's a it's a place where people who want to work with me privately and they're on a waiting list for that or they're waiting for my next three day event or they're waiting for whatever they can kind of come into wow and they can be served and they can also um, get a lot of value while they're waiting for that but more than that it gave me something that I can sell every day of the week right like people say oh my god God, I've got to work with you. Great. Go to womenwhowow.com. Go to planetwow.club. Let's get to know each other more. And it's an easy, easy, easy thing that immediately comes off of my tongue when people are interested in more. The alternative to this is that we delay too long. The alternative to this is that we um, let the shelf life of their excitement about us, we let that shelf life expire while we wait for something perfect to sell. So, if this is resonating with you, I need you to come up with a signature something or other, right? That you can always sell when people say, oh my God, I got to have more of that. Great. Here's how we can start, right? And immediately you have some way to get their enthusiasm to transform into commitment. So um, that's what I had to say today. I'm super excited. I, pr I apologize for the green. I, um, I actually chose it uh, by mistake the first time and sort of thought it was cool looking. I think you can still see my eyes are blue, which I don't know how they do that. But um, essentially, I was trying to camouflage the fact that I had been sweating up a storm here and um, I've got dirty hair and a sweat stained face for my <laughs> workout this morning. So anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. I um, have loved our comments about Dallas. I am super excited about this this event is not full yet um, but it is filling with some of the best best 
people, some of my favorite people from all over the country. And I am pumped about being there and being with you guys. It's going to be an intimate event that's going to be so incredibly transformational for people who are there. If you have been on the fence, it is womenwhowcom backslash Dallas 2017. Don't let anything keep you from coming. Honestly, just don't. Just show up. You need a pause from your business in order to um, become the architect of what you really, really want. All of us need this. It's not about wow and it's not about me. It is about the fact that if you don't have your dream business, if you are not inspired every day to wake up and do your business, if you are afraid about money, if you are holding yourself back on content, if you know, frankly, that you should be in more demand than you are, if you know that you are, uh, that people who should be working with you are working with people who um, lack either the integrity or the expertise that you have and you're frustrated by it, I want you to go and check out womenwhowcom backslash Dallas 2017 because you need to be at this event. It's going to be amazing. I will see many of you guys there in Dallas, but I'll see you again tomorrow here in planetwow.club, our private Facebook group. I appreciate you guys. And if you're watching this later, put the comments below and I'll answer them then. Talk with you soon. Bye.